ഐ എം ഐശ്വര്യ മോഹൻ ഓഫ് ക്ലാസ് ട്വൽവ് എ സ്റ്റഡിയിങ് ഇൻ കേന്ദ്ര വിദ്യാലയ നമ്പർ വൺ പാലക്കാട് ആൻഡ് ഐ എം ഗോയിങ് ടു സ്പീക്ക് ഓൺ ദ ടോപ്പിക് ദ പവർ ഓഫ് ഫിറ്റ്നസ് ഓൾ ഓഫ് ഫസ് ഹവ് ഹേർഡ് ദ വേർഡ് ഫിറ്റ്നസ് ബീങ് യൂസ് ഇൻ സെവറൽ ലൊക്കേഷൻസ് ബട്ട് വോട്ട് എക്സാക്ട്ലി ഡസ് ഇറ്റ് മീൻ ഫിറ്റ്നസ് മീൻസ് എ ഫിസിക്കൽ ആൻഡ് മെൻറ്റൽ വെൽ ബീങ് ഓഫ് എ പേഴ്സൺ വി കോൾ എ പേഴ്സൺ ഹെൽദി ഓഫ് ഫിറ്റ് വെൻ ഹി ഓർ ഷി ഇസ് ഏബിൾ ടു ഫങ്ഷൻ വെൽ ഫിസിക്കലി ആസ് വെൽ എസ് മെൻറ്റലി Now what is meant by mental fitness? Mental fitness means to keep your brain and emotional health in tip-top shape. It refers to a series of exercises that help you slow down, decompress and boost your memory. To begin with, let us look into the benefits of physical and mental fitness. Some of them include reduced risk of diseases, strong bones and muscles, improving your mood, and according to the centers for disease control and preventions they even increase your life span now for those of you who wonder how mental fitness can contribute to less diseases here's how our mind through the neural and endocrine system influences the immune system and immune system in turn maintains our health now so being physically and mentally fit is a necessity for people of all age groups some other benefits include controlling one's body weight reducing stress and depression enhancing energy level keeping one away from anxiety and so on researches show that after 10 minutes of physical activity a person is able to concentrate more and be more active on whatever work he or she is doing buddha had once said to keep the body in good health is a duty otherwise we shall not be able to have a strong and clear mind if you want to give your 100 percent and whatever you're doing you need to have a strong peaceful and clear mind and that can only be achieved by having a healthy and fit body now in order to be healthy and fit two things are of utmost importance good food and physical activity A nutritious and balanced diet is of prime significance. Food rich in proteins, carbohydrates, vitamins, minerals in adequate amount is essential. Proteins are necessary for body growth. Carbohydrates provide energy. Vitamins and minerals help in building bones and boosting your immune system. Now coming to the next most important one that is physical fitness, physical activities or exercises. Now this does not necessarily mean you need to have those huge machines or dumbbells or go to a gym you just need to find a place where you can move around comfortably setting aside 20 minutes of our time daily for physical activities helps improve our muscle power helps in good oxygen supply and blood flow throughout the body in burning fats and controlling cholesterol level of our bo- of the body our bones become strong and joints have pain free movement regular exercises helps us maintain our body shape various outdoor games like football basketball volleyball cricket etc also help us keep our body healthy and fit meditation and yoga have been a part of our life since ancient times they keep us physically fit but mentally strong as well meditation helps us improve our concentration our mind gets relaxed and thinking becomes positive yoga makes us stress free and improves endurance power of the mind a strong bond with nature is established meditation is considered one of the best ways to fight depression the covid-19 pandemic has caused significant disruptions in our daily lives even after a year of its outbreak we are not able to effectively we are not able to effectively defeat the virus so the most that we can do to fight the virus is to remain healthy and fit regular physical activities and routine exercises are very essential for people of all age groups we students have been at home since march without doing any of those physical activities that we used to do in schools so it is going to be difficult for us going back to school 
once the situation subsides. So taking all these into account, the government of India has decided to continue the Fit India movement for its second year in spite of the prevailing situation. This movement includes people of all age groups, encouraging people to remain healthy and fit by including physical activities and sports in their daily lives. So in order to have a happy and healthy post-corona period and also to keep us away from diseases in this present time, let us all eat healthy, do physical activities, let it be running, walking, exercising, playing and fight the virus by being healthy and fit and thereby we can all feel the power of fitness. I would like to conclude with a quote by Sir John F. Kennedy. Physical fitness is not only one of the most important keys to a healthy body, it is the basis of dynamic and creative intellectual activity. Thank you.